We're here at Long Beach Convention Center. It is Comic-Con 2014 here, and one panel that was amazing was Women in Animation, and it was, uh, you were on it. Yes, Sarah, it was. tell us about it. How, how was that to kind of talk to a room, especially there was a couple females in there going into your field, so tell me a little bit about that. To me, it's really empowering because I'm so passionate about not only the field, but the fact that females are such strong storytellers and creatives, and I love that we have a point of view, and I'm so excited whenever I see people interested in getting to animation that happen to be female so yes, absolutely tell us yeah. a little bit about I know you have a there's this movie we Channing Tatum's part of it yes. Zoe Saldana's part of it yes. you know huge coming out pretty soon and you got to be a part of it so tell us about the film and how you became a part of it yeah so I had the wonderful opportunity to work on Book of Life for two years which is coming out October 17th and um, the director is Jorge Gutierrez and he's just an absolute visionary and such a great guy to work with and Guillermo del Toro is producing so there's definitely some edginess and it's just a beautiful love letter to Mexican culture and we're all so proud of the film. So working on that was a career highlight and it was also my first movie so it's like kind of what else can top that for me but it was a great one. So. And then you don't have a bad day job. You work for Nickelodeon. I know you're on a show that's coming out pretty soon. Well, not soon, but you know, it's Next. coming up. Yeah, so yeah. tell us about that. Um, I'm working on a new Nick Jr. show called Shimmer and Shine, and it's a magical girl show about these two magical genies and their kind of fun adventures with their best friend, Leah. So it's a, it's a great way for girls to start learning about animation and see exciting new problem solving at a very young age, and I'm really proud to be working on it, so. One big thing to make all this possible is creativity. So tell us kind of how your creativity shows up, how it looks to you and how you translate that creativity into something like all that you're working on. For me, I love color. I think color is such a wonderful way to just explore emotions and storytelling and getting able, being able to communicate through images with color is just huge for me. Some people gravitate towards drawing. I love painting. So exploring um, just storytelling with different moods and different lighting scenarios is really how I love communicating. And then lastly, uh, are there any Adobe products that you use at all for, for any of the work that you do? I use Photoshop every single day of my life, so I'm pretty familiar with it and I could not do my job without it, so plug plug. <laughs> um, and I'm also a really big fan of Illustrator, I've had to use that a lot and InDesign for whenever I'm doing my resume and so I'm pretty familiar with the Adobe Creative Suite. All right. So well, yeah. you have been able to take that and others and make a, a, a great career that's just starting. So they have to see the film, obviously. Yeah. They have to see the Nickelodeon show it comes out and where's the best place for them to find all your work um, I'm available on sarahmarino.com and my Twitter handle is Sarah Marino and Tumblr Sarah Marino so I try to make it pretty easy Absolutely. So. Well, thank you so much it was a great panel and she is living proof females that you can do an amazing job thank you yes. so much well, thank you so much for talking with us and we are here at Long Beach Convention Center for 2014 Comic Con will you have a great rest of your time here thanks you too thank you